All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the gradient tool, which will add some more additional adjustments that we can work with. So if you look at uh, the toolbar here in the develop setting, we've got this little option here, the gra graduated filter. And so what this is going to do is it's going to give us control over exposure on a gradual way. So for example, I think the sky might be a little bit too bright in the exposure and so if I use my graduated filter if I just click and drag if I hold shift down it will constrain that but you can see that it gradually has a darker exposure here and then it gradually fades off and you can move that however you want and then this will create a little bit sharper gradient so the fall off is faster but you can see I can control the exposure of that simply by sliding that exposure there. Or you can create more contrast, you can you know, do all your other de basic development adjustments there as you, as you see fit. So that's kind of a nice little option that we can add that graduated filter. And I use it to enhance uh, the, the rest of the development. So let's say I was to kind of increase the shadows, maybe we'll bump the saturation and vibrance. But you can see that that's made a huge difference in just making the sky a little bit more vibrant and getting more detail in the highlights. But that's a great way we can use, you know, if we have one side of the image, maybe it's a left or right or top or bottom, you can use that to increase or decrease um, some of those controls. So I, I primarily use it for exposure, but there's other things that we can use it for as well. All these adjustments are available there. So that is the graduated filter tool.